Hello there. It's been a positive start to 2023 with markets going in the right direction. And partly that's because a lot of the economic data releases we've had recently have been just that little bit better than expected. That's not to say some of that data isn't still, for example, a bit sluggish in terms of economic growth or in terms of inflation, it's, it's still pretty high. Just that it's been better than expected. Um, and, and of course, some of those you know, predictions of doom and gloom at the moment, it's possible that those might be mistaken. So if we look at, for example, the UK economy, well, we saw some decent growth in October and again in November, which surprised a lot of people. We had a contraction in the uh, third quarter of last year, but at the moment it looks like the fourth quarter saw some growth. And that means we avoid the recession that you get when you have two negative quarters in a row. So a lot of people thought the UK was already in recession. It's not. If we look at inflation data, and this is again one of the real, real points of good news, just generally we're seeing around the world inflation just starting to come down and actually in a lot of cases come down a little bit more rapidly than people had thought. And one of the main reasons for that is actually because it's because of the weather. You know, it may not feel like it at times, but actually this winter in kind of northwestern Europe in particular has actually been pretty mild and that means people have been using less uh, gas and electricity than a lot of people had predicted. And therefore, um, the gas and electricity prices have come down really quite substantially. Um, so when we look at a lot of the predictions for 2023, they were quite poor based on expectations that our electricity and gas bills would carry on going up. Well, actually, if things stay where they are, and it's obviously a big if, uh, they may, may well start to fall during the second part of the year. So uh, it's really quite interesting to, to sort of note that um, what happens to the economy and therefore what might happen to the markets is at least partly driven by what happens to the weather. It is as, as random as that, if you like, or as unpredictable as that. But some good news at the moment, and that's, that's helping markets to go up. So we're feeling quite positive. We've, you know, we, we would like to believe that that can continue and that will help portfolios to, to recover after 2022 was a pretty difficult year for, for all asset classes. At the moment, we actually really quite like um, putting money into smaller companies, uh, both in the UK and in the US. Um, those are areas that tend to do pretty well over the long term, but they can struggle in those years when markets go down and when people are worried about the economy. So small cap, smaller companies was not a good place to be last year. But if the current trend continues, then um, and the economy does do better than expected, then perhaps it may do better this year. And they are at levels where they look really quite cheap. Uh, in, in a lot of cases, uh, the valuations haven't been as cheap for, for smaller companies since the financial crisis. And as we came out of the financial crisis, last time those, those shares were as cheap as that, we saw some really, really good returns. So, you know, we're feeling quite optimistic, quite positive. It's been a great start to 2023. Uh, let's hope that continues. See you next time.